Well, today is National Hamburger Day, but before you start salivating, consider this. Americans eat almost 50 million burgers a year. That is the equivalent of three burgers a week for everyone in the U.S. And it turns out all the meat isn't exactly good for us or the planet for that matter. So how do we strike a balance between what's right for the world and our taste buds? Joe Masseri has that in tonight's cover story. As the weather heats up, so do grills around the country. And on National Burger Day, the grill at Burger Bistro in Bay Ridge was on fire Thursday. Owner Vincent Darnadello says there's just something nostalgic about biting through the bun into a well-stacked burger. We feel it's comfort food and people, you know, they love to go out for it. Maybe a little too much. In a letter to the Department of Agriculture and the Department of Health and Human Services, a federally appointed panel said Americans need to cut back on the amount of meat we eat. Red meat is something we should limit. Before they said we should just focus on lean meats, but now it's actually about the red meat and the processed meats. The panel found that a diet heavy in red and processed meats can increase the risk of heart disease, diabetes, and some cancers. And unlike previous dietary guidelines, nutritionist and author Beth Warren says this time around, experts aren't just focusing on how the food we eat affects our bodies, but they're also focusing on how the food we eat affects our environment. The production of red meat and the feeding of the cows and things like that are really having an environmental impact. While the connection between our plate and our planet is controversial for some, Darnadello says his menu has expanded to reflect the demand from his customers. Uh, turkey, chicken, tuna, Kobe beef every day of the week. We're feeding towards the organic crowd. We have a veggie burger that sells very well. Uh, we, we just kind of listen to what our guests tell us, and, and that's what we go for. And Burger Bistro also gets its produce from local growers, expanding the long-term sustainability. Well, there's really nothing really we import. When we're looking at a burger, what we're seeing is that big, fat, chunky piece of meat with a little slice of tomato, maybe a little slice of lettuce, and you want that to be the total opposite. We need loads of vegetables. And on National Burger Day, we caught up with Julie Civis, who opted for a healthier option. I did my turkey burger. Okay. I'm just trying to keep it lean. It's not working out anyway because it's going to be huge. But that may not be a problem. Warren says by making those small changes like swapping beef for turkey, you can actually enjoy a little more. And chicken burgers are a lot less saturated fat than red meat, and that means you could eat more of it. So we always want to eat more food. Still, regardless of the recommendations, some burger lovers say there really is only one option. And, and when it comes to turkey burgers, those veggie burgers, salmon burgers, mm. I mean, do, do you think about getting those? I personally don't. Yeah. I don't think about getting that. A burger's meat. A burger is a burger for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, uh, how many, how, like a palm size, is that right? Yeah. Well, That's okay. It's it's not that we don't have to eat burgers ever again, Tamsin, right, right. or red meat for that matter. Balance, what, uh, I guess. Right. What Warren told us is that she said about the size of your palm or a deck of cards once or twice per week. But I have to admit, I had a steak the other night that was about a shoe at a blackjack table <laughs> at Atlantic City. That's six decks of cards <laughs> so that, that like they use there. That was two months for you. Right, I'm trying to make up for people like you who are keeping <laughs> things sustainable, Tamsin being a vegetarian. Look at the work I'm doing for the environment you know? with my frozen veggie patties. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, well, if we go to Capitol Grill or somewhere like that, I'll get the sides and you can get your I your love that. The sizzle full. and the steak. <laughs> there we go. That's what we'll do. <laughs> All right. She will send it over to you for, I guess, a little more sizzle, right? Are you the steak? I'm